Ocotillo T. All right, so we're here at the ranch and we're gonna try making some Ocotillo T. Now I heard about this studying the natives that lived in this, this region and they used to collect the flowers from the tips of the Ocotillo and they would make this medicinal healing drink or hot beverage from the flowers. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick some of these off the ground here. I'm not gonna pick it directly off the plant. I'm just gonna take some that have already dropped. You can see here and a little bit dried. So we take these, look for a plant that, let me see the, the flowers here that we're gonna use. We pick a plant that's just kind of started dropping its leaves. Usually this happens after a big rainfall um, in the washes here um, out on the ranch and they'll set out these leaves, these shoots, really reactive to the weather kind of see here just gonna take maybe a handful and they send out these flowers and they quickly drop the flowers and the leaves and go dormant sorry the ranch tra traffic they quickly drop the flowers and the leaves and go dormant when the weather starts to dry now it's kind of early autumn uh, this time of year so a lot of the plants have already lost their leaves and gone dormant but let's see some here ocotillo it's not in the the cactus family it, with the the spines here you can kind of see up close not a cactus actually a bush and all of the the spindly um, branches come out from a common base so it's a very whimsical plant and again we're just taking some of the flowers the inflorescence off the plant um, that have already dropped on the ground just collecting a handful and we're going to make some ocotillo tea so catch me in a little bit and we'll we'll start making the tea and taste it and see how it is All right, so we're back. We're gonna let this dry. We can let this dry for um, a day or day or so. Um, you can see here, they're all dried out now. And we'll get some uh, water going and we'll stick it in the tea. Water's just boiled. I'm gonna let these steep now for a little bit. Grab a spoon, let it, I'll stir it a little bit. No smell yet. Okay, now it's starting to give off a little little floral aroma.
and give it a few more minutes. Been in about five minutes, so let's try it. see in there it's hard to see there's a few florets in there mmm not much of a strong taste it has a very kind of herbal or medicinal but just very ever so slight but it would yeah it certainly tastes like a beverage that you would you would just enjoy um, when the weather's cool or if you're if you're just wanting a hot beverage without the the caffeine hit but let me try another yeah like a kind of like a a more floral version of a chamomile like if you were to take chamomile flowers um, and add maybe like hibiscus or something to it. That's what this tastes like. To follow up with a quick addendum, this drink is great. It, the longer you let it steep, the greater it gets. So I know I said it was a little bit uh, just kind of a hint of flavor but it's been about 10, 15 minutes now, and this thing is really kind of showing its flavor. It's a great drink. Highly recommend if you're near these plants when they're, when they're letting out their inflorescence. This year was kind of, kind of strange. They, uh, they actually bloomed in the fall instead of the the spring, February, March, like they normally do, kind of been having some some weird weather patterns here. But yeah, this is uh, Okatio Tea. Thanks for watching.